All right, everybody, I want you to close your eyes and imagine that you are a novice N810 user. Oh, my You're super excited about this amazing tool. You don't really feel confident in it just yet. And in fact, you start doing your workflow and it's not really working. You, you try and figure it out and you browse the forum and you don't quite find what you're looking for. And you ask yourself, is it post time? So you go over here, you sign up, you go to the new topic and uh, new title. Well, uh, should I do here? And then you notice, oh, there's a little tip here. Try pasting your NAN workflow into your post. So you go to NAN, you get your workflow, and you paste it here. No, that's not the right one, sorry. This one. Cool. And then you're like, hmm, what's a new question? And what you can see is you have a preview of the workflow who has been fetched from McCutton's magic service. <laughs> <laughs> and you also have the code like normal below, which is highlighted, and also a little tip here which says that you know you can copy it and paste it into any end. So I think what happens very often if you if you're coming across an, an already answered question is that you know you have this thing saying hey here is like here's a workbook for you and then the, the original post is like thank you this is perfect it exactly solves my problem and you're like well that's just like a json i don't know what this means i can't use it it's not exactly my problem um and so we're just making it easier to copy it here uh, and, and see what it does make it more obvious and also yeah just giving you an overview of exactly what it does mm -hmm. so um yeah. okay. on that bit this is beautiful workflow that. <laughs> um, Natasha, do you want to explain a little bit how we do with the image? Um, really, we open it and it takes screenshots. <laughs> <laughs> how did you do that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's public data. We're running Chrome under the hood. I, this is a my this is an instance that basically I've hacked together to hide some of the stuff and add the little logo. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it just runs public here, returns it, it captures the image, saves it to the instance. It was supposed to upload it to S3, but last minute that didn't work on Heroku. Uh, we just now um, that you know, fix it here. This would be nice also on the website, I think, for the workflows. Uh, and um, but it also works, you know, when people post in the post, it's kind of nice as well. Okay, in this post. Um, so, yeah, and the cool thing is, we could, if we installed this, we could rebake all of the past posts and they would all get this. Ah. Mm -hmm. How does it know if it's a workflow and not just like, I don't know, some function code? It basically analyzes the, the content. So if you create a new post, right, you, you insert your, basically what it does here is it looks for a line containing either a curly bracket or a square bracket. Mm -hmm. And it then goes from the bottom of the, of the content upwards and tries to pass the JSON. Mm -hmm. And once it succeeds, it's like, okay, this is JSON. Like it should have been put in there. Mm -hmm. With backticks, but yeah, mm -hmm. users didn't know about backticks. Mm -hmm. So then, what we just do is we like we analyze the JSON, and if it has a, a node field, and that node field is a is a is a list with certain attributes, we say okay, it's a worker. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. I think it's really cool how it identifies, even if you don't put in the backticks. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of people. No, 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 like no, nothing. No. Right? What is that? Yeah. Can't wait to see this on the platform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tesla's got cash in here and everything. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can say it in memory, Cassie. Um, the cool thing is that we hijacked the templates feature. So instead, of the, we'd, we'd, we'd like mock the response and then just return that. So, like, you know, and thinks it's getting the response from an and IO, but really it's getting it from this, like, hack together. Like, mm -hmm. Intercepted requests that we're doing. Mm -hmm. That fun little. Question. So I know, like in, in, in an editor now, we have the like basically like, reframe canvas, yeah. like zoom in. Are we going to be able to uh, use that on this? So it's used automatically. Yeah. So okay. you can see it. Yeah. It's already any any workflow that's loaded, it would, mm -hmm. it's already like zoomed out, zoomed to fit. What we did in the first year was just kind of like crop it so that it's 
Yeah, I think of the entire image. Trill that would be healthy. But if it's bigger for blood, I would trill the whole thing. It's cool you guys had time for the little little watermark as well. <laughs> 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 Very important. Putting the cherry on top of the cake. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, like the other thing is, like, if we overhaul the, the UI and stuff, we can just, like, redo yeah. the entire four of yeah. them. Yeah. And then what we'd love to do, we didn't have time, is to, instead of rendering an image, render HTML yeah. so that you can go in here and click on these nodes yeah. and open this. 